This article lists and summarizes the war crimes committed since the Hague Conventions of 1899 and 1907 and the crimes against humanity and crimes against peace that have been committed since these crimes were first defined in the Rome Statute. Since many war crimes are not ultimately prosecuted due to lack of political will, lack of effective procedures, or other practical and political reasons, historians and lawyers will often make a serious case that war crimes occurred, even if there was no formal investigations or prosecution of the alleged crimes or an investigation cleared the alleged perpetrators. War crimes under international law were firmly established by international trials such as the Nuremberg Trials and the Tokyo Trials, in which Austrian, German and Japanese leaders were prosecuted for war crimes committed during World War II. Topic. 1899–1902 Second Boer War The term, "'concentration camp' was used to describe camps operated by the British Empire in South Africa during the Second Boer War in the years 1900–1902. As Boer farms were destroyed by the British under their scorched earth policy, many tens of thousands of women and children were forcibly moved into the concentration camps. Over 26,000 Boer women and children were to perish in these concentration camps. Topic: 1899 to 1902 Philippine-American War. In November 1901, the Manila correspondent of the Philadelphia Ledger wrote, The present war is no bloodless, opera booth engagement, our men have been relentless, have killed to exterminate men, women, children, prisoners and captives, active insurgents and suspected people from lads of ten up, the idea prevailing that the Filipino as such was little better than a dog. In response to the Balangiga massacre, which wiped out a U.S. company garrisoning Samatown, U.S. Brigadier General Jacob H. Smith launched a retaliatory march across Sama with the instructions, I want no prisoners. I wish you to kill and burn, the more you kill and burn the better it will please me. I want all persons killed who are capable of bearing arms in actual hostilities against the United States. The war resulted in the deaths of at least 200,000 Filipino civilians. Some estimates for total civilian dead reach up to 1 million. Topic: 1914 to 1918 World War 1. World War I was the first major international conflict to take place following the codification of war crimes at the Hague Convention of 1907, including derived war crimes, such as the use of poisons as weapons, as well as crimes against humanity, and derivative crimes against humanity, such as torture, and genocide. Before, the Second Boer War took place after the Hague Convention of 1899. The Second Boer War 1899 until 1902 is known for the first concentration camps 1900 until 1902 for civilians in the 20th century. Topic 1923 to 1932 Pacification of Libya The pacification of Libya resulted in mass deaths of the indigenous people in Cyrenaica by Italy. 80,000 or over a quarter of the indigenous people in Cyrenaica perished during the pacification. 100,000 Bedouin citizens were ethnically cleansed by expulsion from their land. Specific war crimes alleged to have been committed by the Italian armed forces against civilians include deliberate bombing of civilians, killing unarmed children, women, and the elderly, rape and disembowelment of women, throwing prisoners out of aircraft to their death and running over others with tanks, regular daily executions of civilians in some areas, and bombing tribal villages with mustard gas bombs beginning in 1930. Topic. 
Topic 1935 to 1941 Second Italo-Abyssinian War. Italian use of mustard gas against Ethiopian soldiers in 1936 violated the 1925 Geneva Protocol, which bans the use of chemical weapons in warfare. Yekat at 12 in response to the unsuccessful assassination of Rodolfo Graziani on 19 February 1937, thousands of Ethiopians were killed, including all of the monks residing at Debra Libanos, and over a thousand more detained at Danon who were then exiled either to the Dalek Islands or Italy. The Ethiopians recorded 275,000 combatants killed in action, 78,500 patriots guerrilla fighters killed during the occupation, 17,800 civilians killed by aerial bombardment and 30,000 in the February 1937 massacre, 35,000 people died in concentration camps, 24,000 patriots executed by summary courts, 300,000 persons died of privation due to the destruction of their villages, amounting to 760,300 deaths. Topic: 1936 to 1939 Spanish Civil War. At least 50,000 people were executed during the Spanish Civil War. In his updated history of the Spanish Civil War, Antony Beaver writes, Franco's ensuing White Terror claimed 200,000 lives. The Red Terror had already killed 38,000. Julius Ruiz concludes that, although the figures remain disputed, a minimum of 37,843 executions were carried out in the Republican zone with a maximum of 150,000 executions including 50,000 after the war in nationalist Spain. César Vidal puts the number of Republican victims at 110,965. In 2008 a Spanish judge, socialist Baltazar Garzón, opened an investigation into the executions and disappearances of 114,266 people between 17 July 1936 and December 1951. Among the murders and executions investigated was that of poet and dramatist Federico García Lorca. Topic: 1939 to 1945 World War II. Topic: Axis Powers. The Axis Powers, Germany, Italy, and Japan, were some of the most systematic perpetrators of war crimes in modern history. Contributing factors included Nazi race theory, a desire for «living space» that justified the eradication of native populations, and militaristic indoctrination that encouraged the terrorization of conquered peoples and prisoners of war. The Holocaust, the German attack on the Soviet Union and occupation of much of Europe, the Japanese occupation of Manchuria and the Philippines and attack on China all contributed to well over half of the civilian deaths in World War II and the conflicts that led up to the war. Even before post-war revelations of atrocities, Axis militaries were notorious for their brutal treatment of captured combatants. Topic. Crimes perpetrated by Germany According to the Nuremberg trials, there were four major war crimes that were alleged against German military and Waffen-SS and NSDAP men and officers, each with individual events that made up the major charges. 1. Participation in a common plan of conspiracy for the accomplishment of crimes against peace 2. Planning, initiating and waging wars of aggression and other crimes against peace Planning and executing a campaign of invasion of its European neighbours, as well as the conspiracy to violate the Treaty of Versailles and the Treaty of Saint-Germain through the remilitarization of the Rhineland, and the annexations of Austria and Czechoslovakia. Point 3. War crimes 
atrocities against enemy combatants or conventional crimes committed by military units, see War Crimes of the Wehrmacht, and include Invasion of Poland, during the period of 1 September to 25 October 1939 German forces in their military actions engaged in executions of Polish POWs, bombing hospitals, murdering civilians, shooting refugees, and executing wounded soldiers. The cautious estimates give a number of at least 16,000 murdered victims. Pacification operations in German-occupied Poland, during the occupation of Poland by German Reich, Wehrmacht forces took part in several pacification actions in rural areas, that resulted in murder of at least 20,000 Polish villagers. Le Paradis Massacre, in May 1940, British soldiers of the Royal Norfolk Regiment were captured by the SS and subsequently murdered. Fritz Nochlein was tried found guilty and hanged. Wormhout Massacre, in May 1940, British and French soldiers were captured by the SS and subsequently murdered. No one found guilty of the crime. Dardenne massacres, in June 1944 Canadian soldiers were captured by the SS and murdered by the 12th SS Panzer Division Hitlerjugend. SS General Kurt Meyer Panzermeyer was sentenced to be shot 1946. His sentence was commuted and he was released in 1954. Marmdi Massacre, in December 1944, United States POWs captured by Camp Ruppy Piper were murdered outside Marmdi, Belgium. Gardelagen, war crime, the German SS forced 1,016 slave laborers who were part of a transport evacuated from the Dora labor sub-camp into a large barn which was then lit on fire. Most of the prisoners were burned alive, some were shot trying to escape. Marzabotto Massacre, the German SS killing of at least 770 civilians of Marzabotto as a collective punishment for their support of Italian partisans and the Italian resistance movement. Santana di Statsima Massacre, a massacre was committed in the hill village of Santana di Statsima in Tuscany, Italy, in the course of an operation against the Italian resistance movement during the Italian campaign of World War II, 560 local villagers and refugees were murdered and their bodies burnt in a scorched earth policy action by the Nazis. Kefalonia Massacre, the mass execution of the men of the Italian 33rd Acqui Infantry Division by the Germans on the island of Cephalonia, Greece was committed after the Italian armistice. Orador Silglane Massacre, on 10 June 1944, the village of Orador Silglane in Hortbien in then Nazi-occupied France was destroyed. 642 of its inhabitants, including women and children, were massacred by a Waffen-SS company. The annihilation of the Czech city of Lodica was committed as an act of vengeance for the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich. Massacre of Calavrita, the extermination of the male population and the total destruction of the town of Calavrita, in Greece, by German occupying forces during World War II, was committed on 13 December 1943. Dostomo Massacre, this attack was perpetrated by members of the Waffen-SS in the village of Dostomo, Greece, during the Axis occupation of Greece during World War II. Kragujevac Massacre, this was a Nazi war crime in which Serbs, Jews and Roma men and boys in Kragujevac, Serbia, were murdered by German Wehrmacht soldiers on 20 and 21 October 1941. The suppression of the 1944 Warsaw Uprising and subsequent leveling of the whole city was a war crime. The treatment of Soviet POWs throughout the war, who were not given the protections and guarantees of the Geneva Convention unlike other Allied prisoners was a war crime. Nazi crimes against Soviet POWs, resulted in some 3.3 million to 3.5 million deaths. This accounts for about 60% of all Soviet POWs. Unrestricted submarine warfare against merchant shipping was another war crime. 
commando order which stated that Allied combatants encountered during commando operations were to be executed immediately upon capture and without trial, even if they were properly uniformed, unarmed, or intending to surrender was a war crime. Commissar Order, an order stating that Soviet political commissars found among captured troops were to be executed immediately was a war crime. Vinkt Massacre, in May 1940 at least 86 civilians in Vinkt were killed by the German Wehrmacht. Posden, a town hall was massacred in November 1944. German war crimes during the Battle of Moscow are another example. Point four. Crimes against humanity Crimes committed well away from the lines of battle and unconnected in any way to military activity, distinct from war crimes, the major crime was the Holocaust, including the construction and use of Vernichtungslagen extermination camps to commit genocide, most prominently at Auschwitz, Treblinka, Majdanek, Belzic, Sobibor, and Chelmno. The employment of other concentration camps across Europe, including Dachau, Sachsenhausen, Mauthausen and Bergen-Belsen, which held Soviet POWs and political prisoners in inhuman conditions, and transported Jews and Roma to extermination camps. Death marches of prisoners, particularly in the last months of the war when the aforementioned camps were being overrun by the Allies. The widespread use of slave labor and forced, unfree labor by the Nazi regime, including the use of concentration camp and extermination camp prisoners as slaves, often with the intent of extermination through labor. The establishment of Jewish ghettos in Eastern Europe intended to isolate Jewish communities for deportation and subsequent extermination. The use of SS Einsatzgruppen, mobile extermination squads, to exterminate Jews and anti Nazi partisans. Babi Yar, a series of massacres in Kiev, the most notorious and the best documented of these massacres, took place on 29 30 September 1941, wherein 33,771 Jews were killed in a single operation. The decision to kill all the Jews in Kiev was made by the military governor, Major General Kurt Eberhard, the police commander for Army Group South, SS Obergruppenführer Friedrich Jekelm, and the Einsatzgruppe C commander Otto Rasch. It was carried out by Sonderkommando 4A soldiers, along with the aid of the SD and SS police battalions backed by the local police. Rumbula a collective term for incidents on two non-consecutive days, November 30 and December 8, 1941, in which about 25,000 Jews were killed in or on the way to Rumbula Forest near Riga, Latvia, during the Holocaust. Ninth fought by the order of SS Standartenführer Karl Jäger and SS Rottenführer Helmut Rauker, the Sonderkommando under the leadership of SS Obersturmführer Joachim Hammann, and 8 to 10 men from Einsatzkommando 3, in collaboration with Lithuanian partisans, murdered 2,007 Jewish men, 2,920 women, and 4,273 children in a single day at the 9th fort, Kaunas, Lithuania. Simferopol Germans perpetrated one of the largest wartime massacres in Simferopol, killing in total over 22,000 locals, mostly Jews, Russians, Krimchaks, and Gypsies. On one occasion, starting December 9, 1941, the Einsatzgruppen D under Otto Ohlendorf's command killed an estimated 14,300 Simferopol residents, most of them being Jews. The massacre of 100,000 Jews and Poles at Panerii The suppression of the 1943 Warsaw Ghetto Uprising which erupted when the SS came to clear the Jewish ghetto and send all of the occupants to extermination camps Izu Massacre Izu was the site of a Jewish orphanage during the Second World War. On 6 April 1944, three vehicles pulled up in front of the orphanage. The Gestapo, under the direction of the Butcher of Leon, Klaus Barbie, entered the orphanage and forcibly removed the 44 children and their seven supervisors, throwing the crying and terrified children onto the trucks. Following the raid on their home in Izu, the children were shipped directly to the collection center 
in Drancy, then put on the first available train towards the concentration camps in the east. Other crimes against humanity included the Porajmos, the mass killings of the Romani peoples of Europe by the Nazis, the Lapinka or catching game, Nazi roundups of Poles in the major cities for slave labor. Nikolev massacre, which resulted in the deaths of 35,782 Soviet citizens, most of whom were Jews. Operation Tannenberg, the AB action and the massacre of WoW professors, all Nazi actions in Poland meant to mass murder the Polish intelligentsia and other potential leaders of resistance. Both «encouraging» and «compelling» Abortion, prosecuted as a crime against the child in the womb. The crime consisted of three parts, a providing abortion services, b withdrawing the protection of German law from the unborn child, c refusing to enforce existing Polish law prohibiting abortion. The Nazi T4 euthanasia program, an aborted eugenics program meant to kill German children who were mentally or physically handicapped. 200,000 people were murdered due to this program, at least 10 million, and perhaps over 20 million perished directly and indirectly due to the commission of crimes against humanity and war crimes by the Nazi regime, of which the Holocaust lives on in particular infamy, for its particularly cruel nature and scope, and the industrialized nature of the genocide of Jewish citizens of states invaded or controlled by the Nazi regime. At least 5.9 million Jews were murdered by the Nazis, or 66 to 78 percent of Europe's Jewish population, although a complete count may never be known. Though much of continental Europe suffered under the Nazi occupation, Poland, in particular, was the state most devastated by these crimes, with 90 percent of its Jews as well as many ethnic Poles slaughtered by the Nazis and their Ukrainian affiliates. After the war, from 1945 to 49, the Nazi regime was put on trial in two tribunals in Nuremberg, Germany by the victorious Allied powers. The first tribunal indicted 24 major Nazi war criminals, and resulted in 19 convictions, of which 12 led to death sentences, and three acquittals. Two of the accused died before a verdict was rendered, at least one of which by killing himself with cyanide. The second tribunal indicted 185 members of the military, economic, and political leadership of Nazi Germany, of which 142 were convicted and 35 were acquitted. In subsequent decades, approximately 20 additional war criminals who escaped capture in the immediate aftermath of World War II were tried in West Germany and Israel. In Germany and many other European nations, the Nazi Party and denial of the Holocaust is outlawed. Topic. Crimes perpetrated by Hungary Topic. Crimes perpetrated by Italy Invasion of Abyssinia, waging a war of aggression for territorial aggrandizement, war crimes, use of poisons as weapons, crimes against humanity, in violation of the Kellogg-Briand Pact, and the customary law of nations, Italy invaded the Kingdom of Abyssinia in 1936 without cause cognizable by the law of nations, and waged a war of annihilation against Ethiopian resistance, using poisons against military forces and civilian persons alike, not giving court to POWs who had surrendered, and massacring civilians. Invasion of Albania, waging a war of aggression for territorial aggrandizement, Italy invaded the Kingdom of Albania in 1939 without cause cognizable by the law of nations in a brief but bloody affair that saw King Zog deposed and an Italian proconsul installed in his place. Italy subsequently acted as the suzerain of Albania until its ultimate liberation later in World War II. Invasion of Yugoslavia, aerial bombardment of civilian population, concentration camps, Rab, Goners. No one has been brought to trial for war crimes, although in 1950 the former Italian defense minister was convicted for collaboration with Nazi Germany.
Topic: Crimes perpetrated by the First Slovak Republic 1939 to 1945. Deportation of around 70,000 Slovak Jews into German Nazi concentration camps Annihilation of 60 villages and their inhabitants Deportation of Slovak Jews, Roma and political opponents into Slovak forced labor camps in Serd, and Novaki Brought to trial and sentenced to death, Joseph Tiso, Ferdinand Durkansky, he fled, Vojitek Tuka and 14 others Topic. Crimes perpetrated by Japan This section includes war crimes from 7 December 1941 when the United States was attacked by Japan and entered World War II. For war crimes before this date which took place during the Second Sino-Japanese War, please see the section above which is titled 1937–1945, Second Sino-Japanese War. Topic. Crimes perpetrated by Romania Topic. Crimes perpetrated by the Chetniks Chetnik ideology revolved around the notion of a greater Serbia within the borders of Yugoslavia, to be created out of all territories in which Serbs were found, even if the numbers were small. The directive dated 20 December 1941, addressed to newly appointed commanders in Montenegro, Major Dordai Jelasic and Captain Pavle Jurasic, outlined, among other things, the cleansing of all non-Serb elements in order to create a greater Serbia. The struggle for the liberty of our whole nation under the scepter of His Majesty King Peter II. The creation of a great Yugoslavia and within it of a great Serbia which is to be ethnically pure and is to include Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Srijem, the Banat, and Baca. The struggle for the inclusion into Yugoslavia of all still unliberated Slovene territories under the Italians and Germans Trieste, Gorizia, Istria, and Carinthia, as well as Bulgaria, and northern Albania with Skada. The cleansing of the state territory of all national minorities and a national elements The creation of contiguous frontiers between Serbia and Montenegro, as well as between Serbia and Slovenia by cleansing the Muslim population from Sandak and the Muslim and Croat populations from Bosnia and Herzegovina. The Chetniks systemically massacred Muslims in villages that they captured. In late autumn of 1941 the Italians handed over the towns of Visegrad, Gorazda, Foča and the surrounding areas, in southeast Bosnia to the Chetniks to run as a puppet administration and NDH forces were compelled by the Italians to withdraw from there. After the Chetniks gained control of Gorazda on 29 November 1941, they began a massacre of Home Guard prisoners and NDH officials that became a systematic massacre of the local Muslim civilian population. Several hundred Muslims were murdered and their bodies were left hanging in the town or thrown into the Drina River. On 5 December 1941, the Chetniks received the town of Foča from the Italians and proceeded to massacre around 500 Muslims. Additional massacres against the Muslims in the area of Foča took place in August 1942. In total, more than 2,000 people were killed in Foča. In early January, Chetniks entered Srebrenica and killed around 1,000 Muslim civilians there and in nearby villages. Around the same time the Chetniks made their way to Visegrad where deaths were reportedly in the thousands. Massacres continued in the following months in the region. In the village of Zipa alone about 300 were killed in late 1941. In early January, Chetniks massacred 54 Muslims in Celebich and burned down the village. On 3 March, Chetniks burned 42 Muslim villages to death in Draken. In early January 1943 and again in early February, Montenegrin Chetnik units were ordered to carry out cleansing actions 
against Muslims, first in the Bielo Polya County in Sandak and then in February in the Kajnis County and part of Foča County in southeastern Bosnia, and in part of the Priljevlja County in Sandak, Pavle Durasic, the officer in charge of these operations, reported to Mihailović, Chief of Staff of the Supreme Command, that on 10 January 1943, 33 Muslim villages had been burned down, and 400 Muslim fighters members of the Muslim self-protection militia supported by the Italians, and about 1,000 women and children had been killed, as against 14 Chetnik dead and 26 wounded." In another report sent by Durasic dated 13 February 1943, he reported that Chetniks killed about 1,200 Muslim fighters and about 8,000 old people, women, and children. Chetnik losses in the action were 22 killed and 32 wounded. He added that, during the operation, the total destruction of the Muslim inhabitants was carried out regardless of sex and age. The total number of deaths caused by the anti-Muslim operations between January and February 1943 is estimated at 10,000. The casualty rate would have been higher had a great number of Muslims not already fled the area, most to Sarajevo, when the February action began. According to a statement from the Chetnik Supreme Command from 24 February 1943, these were countermeasures taken against Muslim aggressive activities, however, all circumstances show that these massacres were committed in accordance with implementing the directive of 20 December 1941. Actions against the Croats were of a smaller scale but comparable in action. In early October 1942 in the village of Gata, where an estimated 100 people were killed and many homes burnt in reprisal taken for the destruction of roads in the area carried out on the Italians' account. That same month, formations under the command of Peter Bakovic and Dobroslav Jevdovich, who were participating in the Italian Operation Alpha in the area of Prozor, massacred over 500 Croats and Muslims and burnt numerous villages. Bakovic noted that, our Chetniks killed all men 15 years of age or older. 17 villages were burned to the ground. Mario Roatta, commander of the Italian Second Army, objected to these massive slaughters of non-combatant civilians and threatened to hold Italian aid to the Chetniks if they did not end. Topic. Crimes perpetrated by the Ustashes The Ustasa intended to create an ethnically «pure» Croatia, and they viewed those Serbs then living in Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina as the biggest obstacle to this goal. Ustasha ministers Mile Budak, Mirko Puk and Milovan Zanik declared in May 1941 that the goal of the new Ustasha policy was an ethnically pure Croatia. The strategy to achieve their goal was One third of the Serbs were to be killed One third of the Serbs were to be expelled One third of the Serbs were to be forcibly converted to Catholicism The independent state of Croatia government cooperated with Nazi Germany in the Holocaust and exercised their own version of the genocide against Serbs, as well as Jews and Gypsies Roma aka Gypsies inside its borders. State policy towards Serbs had first been declared in the words of Milovan Zanik, a minister of the NDH Legislative Council, on 2 May 1941. This country can only be a Croatian country, and there is no method we would hesitate to use in order to make it truly Croatian and cleanse it of Serbs, who have for centuries endangered us and who will endanger us again if they are given the opportunity. According to the Simon Wiesenthal Center, citing the Encyclopedia of the Holocaust, Ustasa terrorists killed 500,000 Serbs, expelled 250,000, and forced 250,000 to convert to Roman Catholicism. They murdered thousands of Jews and Gypsies. The execution methods used by the Ustasha were particularly brutal and sadistic and often included torture, dismemberment, or decapitation. A Gestapo report to Heinrich Himmler from 1942 stated, 
The Astes committed their deeds in a bestial manner not only against males of conscript age but especially against helpless old people, women and children. Numerous concentration camps were built in the NDH, most notably Jasnovac, the largest, where around 100,000 Serbs, Jews, Roma, as well as a number of Croatian political dissidents, died, mostly from torture and starvation. It was established in August 1941 and not dismantled until April 1945, shortly before the end of the war. Other concentration camps were in Gospik, Rab, Dakovo, Jastrobasko, and Lepoglava. Jasnovac was a complex of five subcamps and three smaller camps spread out over 240 square kilometers (93 square miles) in relatively close proximity to each other on the bank of the Sava River. Most of the camp was at Jasnovac, about 100 kilometers (62 miles) southeast of Zagreb. The complex also included large grounds at Donja Gradina directly across the Sava River, a camp for children at Jastrobasko to the northwest, and a women's camp in Stara Gradiska to the southeast. An escape attempt on the 22nd of April 1945 by 600 male inmates failed and only 84 male prisoners escaped successfully. The remainder and about 400 other prisoners were then murdered by Ustasha guards, despite the fact that they knew the war was ending with Germany's capitulation. All the female inmates from the women's camp more than 700 had been massacred by the guards the previous day. The guards then destroyed the camp and everything associated with it was burned to the ground. Ustasha militias and death squads also burnt villages and killed thousands of civilian Serbs in the countryside in sadistic ways with various weapons and tools. Men, women, children were hacked to death, thrown alive into pits and down ravines, or set on fire in churches. Some Serb villages near Srebrenica and Osren were wholly massacred, while children were found impaled by stakes in villages between Vlasinica and Kladinj. The Glina massacres, where thousands of Serbs were killed, are among the more notable instances of Ustasha cruelty. Anti Pavlik, leader of the Ustasha, fled to Argentina and Spain, which gave him protection, and was never extradited to stand trial for his war crimes. Pavlik died on 28 December 1959 at the Hospital Ailman in Madrid, where the Roman Catholic Church had helped him to gain asylum, at the age of 70 from gunshot wounds sustained in an earlier assassination attempt by Montenegrin Blagoja Jovovic. Topic. Crimes perpetrated by the Ukrainians The Ukrainian OUNB group, along with their military force, Ukrainian Insurgent Army UPA, are responsible for a genocide on the Polish population in Volhynia and eastern Galicia. Starting in March 1943, with its peak in the summer 1943, as many as 130,000 people according to EWA Cmashko, were murdered, mostly women, children and elderly. Although the main target were Poles, many Jews, Czechs and those Ukrainians unwilling to participate in the crimes, were massacred as well. Lacking good armament and ammunition, UPA members commonly used tools such as axes and pitchforks for the slaughter. As a result of these massacres, almost the entire non-Ukrainian population of Volhynia was either killed or forced to flee. UPA commanders responsible for the genocide, Roman Shukovich, general of the Ukrainian insurgent army. As a leader of the UPA he was to be aware and to approve the project of ethnic cleansing in Volhynia and eastern Galicia. Dmytro Klychkivsky, colonel of the UPA. He gave the order, to wipe out an entire Polish male population between 16 and 60 years old. Klychkivsky is regarded as the main initiator of the massacres. Mikola Lebed, one of the OUN leaders, and UPA fighter. By the National Archives, he is described as Ukrainian fascist leader and suspected Nazi collaborator. Stepan Bandera, leader of the OUNB. His view was to remove all Poles, who were hostile towards the OUN, and assimilate the rest of them. 
The role of the main architect of the massacres is often assigned to him. However, he was imprisoned in German concentration camps since 1941, so there is a strong suspicion, that he wasn't fully aware of events in Volhynia. Topic. Allied powers Topic. Crimes perpetrated by the Soviet Union Topic. Crimes perpetrated by the United Kingdom Topic. Crimes perpetrated by the United States Topic. Crimes perpetrated by Canada Topic. Crimes perpetrated by the Yugoslav partisans Topic. 1946–1954, Indochina War The French Union struggle against the independence movement backed by the Soviet Union and China claimed 500,000 to 1.5 million Vietnamese lives from 1945 to 1954. In the Haiphong massacre of 1946, about 6,000 Vietnamese were killed by naval artillery. The French employed electric shock treatment during interrogations of the Vietnamese, and nearly 10,000 Vietnamese perished in French concentration camps. Topic: 1947–1948 Malagasy uprising. The French repressed the independence movement with killings and village burnings. Up to 90,000 local residents died in the fighting, along with about 800 French and other Europeans. Topic: 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Several massacres were committed during this war, which could be described as war crimes. Nearly 15,000 people, mostly combatants and militants, were killed during the war, including 6,000 Jews and about 8,000 Arabs. Topic: 1945 to 1949 Indonesian War of Independence. South Sulawesi Campaign, about 4.500 civilians killed by pro-Indonesian and Indonesian forces and pro-Dutch and Dutch colonial forces Rorijid Massacre, about 431 civilians killed by Dutch forces Berziap Massacre, about 25.000 Indo-European civilians, Dutch, and Loyalists killed by Indonesian nationalist forces Indonesian National Revolution about 100 minus 150,000 Chinese, Communists, Europeans French, German, British, Americans, pro-Dutch etc. by Indonesian nationalist forces and Indonesian youth. Topic. 1948 to 1960, Malayan Emergency War crimes, in the Batang Kali massacre, about 24 unarmed villagers were killed by British troops. The British government claimed that these villagers were insurgents attempting to escape but this was later known to be entirely false as they were unarmed, nor actually supporting the insurgents nor attempting to escape after being detained by British troops. No British soldier was prosecuted for the murder at Batang Kali. War crimes, includes beating, torturing, and killing by British troops and communist insurgents of non-combatants. 
war crimes, as part of the Briggs Plan devised by British General Sir Harold Briggs, 500,000 people roughly 10% of Malaya's population were eventually removed from the land, had tens of thousands of their homes destroyed, and were interned in guarded camps called new villages. The intent of this measure was to inflict collective punishments on villages where people were deemed to be aiding the insurgents and to isolate villages from contact with insurgents. While considered necessary, some of the cases involving the widespread destruction went beyond justification of military necessity. This practice was prohibited by the Geneva Conventions and customary international law which stated that the destruction of property must not happen unless rendered absolutely necessary by military operations. Topic 1950 to 1953 Korean War Topic. United States perpetrated crimes Topic. North Korean perpetrated crimes Rudolf Rummel estimated that the North Korean army executed at least 500,000 civilians during the Korean War with many dying in North Korea's drive to conscript South Koreans to their war effort. Throughout the conflict, North Korean and Chinese forces routinely mistreated U.S. and U.N. prisoners of war. Mass starvation and diseases swept through the Chinese Runpao camps during the winter of 1950–51. About 43% of all U.S. POWs died during this period. In violation of the Geneva Conventions which explicitly stated that captor states must repatriate prisoners of war to their homeland as quickly as possible, North Korea detained South Korean POWs for decades after the ceasefire. Over 88,000 South Korean soldiers were missing and the Communists themselves had claimed they had captured 70,000 South Koreans. Topic. South Korean perpetrated crimes Topic. 1952–1960, Mau Mau Uprising In attempt to suppress the insurgency in Kenya, British colonial authorities suspended civil liberties within the country. In response to the rebellion, many Kikuyu were relocated. 320,000 to 450,000 of them were moved into concentration camps. Most of the remainder, more than a million, were held in enclosed villages. Although some were Mau Mau guerrillas, many were victims of collective punishment that colonial authorities imposed on large areas of the country. Thousands suffered beatings and sexual assaults during screenings", intended to extract information about the Mau Mau threat. Later, prisoners suffered even worse mistreatment in an attempt to force them to renounce their allegiance to the insurgency and to obey commands. Significant numbers were murdered, official accounts describe some prisoners being roasted alive. Prisoners were questioned with the help of slicing off ears, boring holes in eardrums, flogging until death, pouring paraffin over suspects who were then set alight, and burning eardrums with lit cigarettes." British soldiers used a «metal castrating instrument» to cut off testicles and fingers. By the time I cut his balls off, one settler boasted, he had no ears, and his eyeball, the right one, I think, was hanging out of its socket. Too bad, he died before we got much out of him." According to David Anderson, the British hanged over 1,090 suspected rebels, far more than the French had executed in Algeria during the Algerian War. It was found out that over half of them executed were not rebels at all. Thousands more were killed by British soldiers, who claimed they had "...failed to halt," when challenged. The Chuka Massacre, which happened in Chuka, Kenya, was perpetrated by members of the King's African Rifles B Company in June 1953 with 20 unarmed people killed during the Mau Mau Uprising. 
Members of the 5th Car B Company entered the Chuka area on June 13, 1953, to flush out rebels suspected of hiding in the nearby forests. Over the next few days, the regiment had captured and executed 20 people suspected of being Mau Mau fighters for unknown reasons. It is found out that most of the people executed were actually belonged to the Kikuyu Home Guard, a loyalist militia recruited by the British to fight an increasingly powerful and audacious guerrilla enemy. In an atmosphere of atrocity and reprisal, the matter was swept under the carpet and nobody ever stood trial for the massacre. The Ola massacre was an incident during the conflict in Kenya against British colonial rule at a colonial detention camp in Ola, Kenya. By January 1959 the camp had a population of 506 detainees of whom 127 were held in a secluded, closed camp. This more remote camp near Garissa, eastern Kenya, was reserved for the most uncooperative of the detainees. They often refused, even when threats of force were made, to join in the colonial, rehabilitation process, or perform manual labor or obey colonial orders. The camp commandant outlined a plan that would force 88 of the detainees to bend to work. On 3 March 1959, the camp commandant put this plan into action. As a result, 11 detainees were clubbed to death by guards. 77 surviving detainees sustained serious permanent injuries. The British government accepts that the colonial administration tortured detainees, but denies liability. The Lari massacre in the settlement of Lari occurred on the night of 25 to 26 March 1953, in which Mau Mau militants herded Kikuyu men, women, and children into huts and set fire to them, killing anyone who attempted to escape. Official estimates place the death toll from the Lari massacre at 74 dead. Mau Mau militants also tortured, mutilated, and murdered Kikuyu on many occasions. Mau Mau racked up 1,819 murders of their fellow Africans, though again this number excludes the many additional hundreds who disappeared, whose bodies were never found. Topic: 1954–1962 Algerian War. The insurgency began in 1945 and was revived in 1954, winning independence in the early 1960s. The French army killed thousands of Algerians in the first round of fighting in 1945. After the Algerian independence movement formed a National Liberation Front FLN in 1954, the French Minister of the Interior joined the Minister of National Defense in 1955 in ordering that every rebel carrying a weapon, suspected of doing so, or suspected of fleeing, must be shot. French troops executed civilians from nearby villages when rebel attacks occurred, tortured both rebels and civilians, and interned Arabs in camps, where forced labor was required of some of them. Two million Algerians were displaced or forcibly resettled during the war. French sources estimated that 70,000 Muslim civilians were killed, or abducted and presumed killed, by the FLN during the war. The FLN also killed 30,000 to 150,000 in people in post-war reprisals. Topic: 1955 to 1975 Vietnam War. Topic: United States perpetrated crimes. During the war 95 U.S. Army personnel and 27 U.S. Marine Corps personnel were convicted by court-martial of the murder or manslaughter of Vietnamese. Vietnam War Crimes Working Group Briefly declassified 1994, and subsequently reclassified 2002, documentary evidence compiled by a Pentagon task force detailing endemic war crimes committed by U.S. soldiers in Vietnam. 
substantiating 320 incidents by army investigators, includes seven massacres from 1967 through 1971 in which at least 137 South Vietnamese civilians died, not including the ones at My Lai, 78 other attacks on non-combatants in which at least 57 were killed, 56 wounded and 15 sexually assaulted, and 141 instances in which U.S. soldiers tortured civilian detainees or prisoners of war. Topic. South Korean perpetrated crimes Topic. North Vietnamese and Viet Cong perpetrated crimes VC terror squads, in the years 1967 to 1972, were claimed by the U.S. Department of Defense as having assassinated at least 36,000 people and abducted almost 58,000 people. Statistics for 1968–72 suggest that, "...about 80% of the terrorist victims were ordinary civilians and only about 20% were government officials, policemen, members of the self-defense forces or pacification cadres." NVA – VC forces murdered between 106,000 and 227,000 civilians between 1954 and 1975 in South Vietnam. Up to 155,000 refugees fleeing the final North Vietnamese Spring Offensive were alleged to have been killed or abducted on the road to Thuy Hoa in 1975. See, VC – NVA use of terror. Topic. Late 1960s minus 1998, The Troubles War crimes, various unarmed male civilians, some of whom were named during a 2013 television program, were shot, two of them, Patrick McFay, Daniel Rooney, fatally, in 1972, allegedly by the Military Reaction Force MRF, an undercover military unit tasked with targeting Irish Republican Army paramilitaries during the last installment of the Troubles. Two brothers, whose names and casualty status were not mentioned in an article regarding the same matter in the Irish Times, ran a fruit stall in West Belfast, and were shot after being mistaken for IRA paramilitaries. War crimes, the British Army had employed widespread torture and waterboarding on prisoners in Northern Ireland during interrogations in the 1970s. Liam Holden was wrongfully arrested by British forces for the murder of a British soldier and became the last person in the United Kingdom to be sentenced to hang after being convicted in 1973, largely on the basis of an unsigned confession produced by torture. His death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment and he spent 17 years behind bars. On 21 June 2012, in the light of CCRC investigations which confirmed that the methods used to extract confessions were unlawful, Holden had his conviction quashed by the Court of Appeal in Belfast, at the age of 58. Former Royal Ulster Constabulary RUC, interrogators during the Troubles admitted that beatings, the sleep deprivation, waterboarding, and the other tortures were systematic, and were, at times, sanctioned at a very high level within the force. War crimes, the British Army and the RUC also operated under a shoot-to-kill policy in Northern Ireland, under which suspects were alleged to have been deliberately killed without any attempt to arrest them. In four separate cases considered by the European Court of Human Rights, involving the deaths of ten IRA men, a Sinn Féin member and a civilian, seven judges ruled unanimously that Article 2 of the European Convention on Human Rights guaranteeing a right to life had been violated by Britain. Topic. 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War Topic. Bihari and pro-Pakistanis massacre in Bangladesh 
It is estimated that Bangladesh guerrilla army killed about 1,000 to 150,000 Biharis or pro-Pakistani Razikas. Topic. 1970–1975 Cambodian Civil War The extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia for the prosecution of crimes committed during the period of Democratic Kampuchea, commonly known as the Cambodia Tribunal, is a joint court established by the Royal Government of Cambodia and the United Nations to try senior members of the Khmer Rouge for crimes against humanity committed during the Cambodian Civil War. The Khmer Rouge killed many people due to their political affiliation, education, class origin, occupation, or ethnicity. Topic. Indonesian invasion of East Timor During the 1975 invasion and the subsequent occupation, Indonesian forces murdered tens of thousands of civilians. Topic: 1975 to 1990 Lebanese Civil War. Topic: 1978 present Civil War in Afghanistan. This war has ravaged the country for over 30 years, with several foreign actors playing important roles during different periods. Since 2001 US and NATO troops have been fighting in Afghanistan in the War on Terror, that is also treated in the corresponding section below. Topic: 1980–1988, Iran–Iraq War Over 100,000 civilians other than those killed in Saddam's genocide are estimated to have been killed by both sides of the war by R.J. Rummel. Topic. 1985–present, Uganda The Times reports November 26, 2005 p. 27 almost 20 years of fighting has killed half a million people. Many of the dead are children. The LRA a cannibalism cult kidnaps children and forces them to join its ranks. And so, incredibly, children are not only the main victims of this war, but also its unwilling perpetrators. The girls told me they had been given to rebel commanders as wives and forced to bear them children. The boys said they had been forced to walk for days knowing they would be killed if they showed any weakness, and in some cases forced even to murder their family members. Every night up to 10,000 children walk into the center of Kitgum because they are not safe in their own beds. More than 25,000 children have been kidnapped. This year an average of 20 children have been abducted every week. The International Criminal Court has launched an investigation and has issued indictments against LRA leaders. Topic: 1991 to 1999 Yugoslav wars. Topic: 1991 to 1995 Croatian War of Independence. Also, see list of ICTY and DITES for a variety of war criminals and crimes during this era. Topic: 1992 to 1995 Bosnian War. Topic: 1998–1999 Kosovo War. Topic: 
1990–2000, Liberia, Sierra Leone From the Times March 28, 2006 p. 43 Charles Taylor, the former Liberian president who is one of Africa's most wanted men, has gone into hiding in Nigeria to avoid extradition to a UN War Crimes Tribunal. The UN War Crimes Tribunal in Sierra Leone holds Mr. Taylor responsible for about 250,000 deaths. Throughout the 1990s, his armies and supporters, made up of child soldiers orphaned by the conflict wreaked havoc through a swath of West Africa. In Sierra Leone he supported the Revolutionary United Front RUF, whose rebel fighters were notorious for hacking off the limbs of civilians, current action, indicted on 17 counts of war crimes and crimes against humanity by the UN, which has issued an international warrant for his arrest. As of April 2006 located, extradited, and facing trial in Sierra Leone but then transferred to the Netherlands as requested by the Liberian government. As of the status of the main state actor in the war crimes in Liberia, Sierra Leone and the ongoing war crimes tribunal in The Hague for violating the UN sanctions, Libya's Muammar Gaddafi was elected to the post of President of the African Union. As of late January, 2011, Exxon, Mobile has resumed explorationary drilling in Libya after the exchange of the Lockerbie bombing terrorist was returned to Libya and Libya was taken off terrorist list by the Bush administration with the legal stipulation that Libya could never be prosecuted for past war crimes, regardless of guilt, in the future. Topic. 1990 invasion of Kuwait Topic 1991 to 2000 2002 Algerian civil war During the Algerian Civil War of the 1990s, a variety of massacres occurred through the country, many being identified as war crimes. The armed Islamic group, GIA, has avowed its responsibility for many of them, while for others no group has claimed responsibility. In addition to generating a widespread sense of fear, these massacres and the ensuing flight of population have resulted in serious depopulation of the worst affected areas. The massacres peaked in 1997, with a smaller peak in 1994, and were particularly concentrated in the areas between Algiers and Oran, with very few occurring in the east or in the Sahara. Topic. 1994-1996-1999-2009, Russia-Chechnya Wars During the First Chechen War (1994–1996) and Second Chechen War (1999–2000) battle phase (2000–2009) insurgency phase, there were many allegations of war crimes and terrorism against both sides from various human rights organizations. Topic 1998 to 2006 Second Congo War Civil War 1998 to 2002 Est 5 million deaths war sucked in Rwanda Uganda Angola Zimbabwe and Namibia as well as 17,000 United Nations peacekeepers its largest and most costly peace mission and the bloodiest conflict since the end of the Second World War. Fighting involves Mai Mai militia and Congolese government soldiers. The government originally armed the Mai Mai as civil defense against external invaders, who then turned to banditry. 100,000 refugees living in remote disease-ridden areas to avoid both sides. Estimated 1,000 deaths a day according to Oxfam. The army attacks the local population as it passes through, often raping and pillaging like the militias. 
Those who resist are branded Mai Mai supporters and face detention or death. The Mai Mai accuse the villagers of collaborating with the army, they return to the villages at night and extract revenged sick. Sometimes they march the villagers into the bush to work as human mules. In 2003, Sinifasi Makalo, a representative of Mbuti Pygmies, told the UN's Indigenous Peoples Forum that during the Congo Civil War, his people were hunted down and eaten as though they were game animals. Both sides of the war regarded them as subhuman. Makalo asked the UN Security Council to recognize cannibalism as a crime against humanity and an act of genocide. Topic: 2001 present US invasion of Afghanistan. Topic: 2003 to 2011 Iraq War. During the Iraq War Blackwater Baghdad shootings on September 16, 2007, Blackwater military contractors shot and killed 17 Iraqi civilians in Nizo Square, Baghdad. The fatalities occurred while a Blackwater personal security detail PSD, was escorting a convoy of U.S. State Department vehicles en route to a meeting in western Baghdad with United States Agency for International Development officials. The shooting led to the unraveling of the North Carolina-based company, which since has replaced its management and changed its name to XE Services. Beginning in 2004, accounts of physical, psychological, and sexual abuse, including torture, rape, sodomy, and homicide of prisoners held in the Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq, also known as Baghdad Correctional Facility, came to public attention. These acts were committed by military police personnel of the United States Army together with additional U.S. governmental agencies. In January 2014, evidence accuses British troops of being involved in widespread torture and abuse towards Iraqi civilians and prisoners. War Crimes 2006 Al Askari Mosque bombing by Al Qaeda. The bombing was followed by retaliatory violence with over a hundred dead bodies being found the next day and well over 1,000 people killed in the days following the bombing, by some counts, over 1,000 on the first day alone. War crimes, Iraqi insurgent groups have committed many armed attacks and bombings targeting civilians. According to Iraqi Interior Minister Bayan Jabr insurgents killed over 12,000 Iraqis from January 2005 to June 2006, giving the first official count for the victims of bombings, ambushes and other deadly attacks. See, Iraq War Insurgent Attacks, List of Suicide Bombings in Iraq since 2003 and List of Massacres of the Iraq War for a more comprehensive list. Topic. 2006 Lebanon War Allegations of war crimes in the 2006 Lebanon War refer to claims of various groups and individuals, including Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and United Nations officials, who accused both Hezbollah and Israel of violating international humanitarian law during the 2006 Lebanon War, and warned of possible war crimes. These allegations included intentional attacks on civilian populations or infrastructure, disproportionate or indiscriminate attacks in densely populated residential districts. According to various media reports, between 1,000 and 1,200 Lebanese citizens were reported dead, there were between 1,500 and 2,500 people wounded and over 1 million were temporarily displaced. Over 150 Israelis were killed, 120 military, thousands wounded, and 300,000 to 500,000 were displaced because of Hezbollah firing tens of thousands of rockets at major cities in Israel. Topic: 2003 to 2009 2010 Darfur conflict 2005 to 2010 civil war in Chad 
During the Darfur conflict, civil war in Chad 2005–2010 The conflict in Darfur has been variously characterized as a genocide. Sudanese authorities claim a death toll of roughly 19,500 civilians while many non-governmental organizations, such as the Coalition for International Justice, claim over 400,000 people have been killed. In September 2004, the World Health Organization estimated there had been 50,000 deaths in Darfur since the beginning of the conflict, an 18-month period, mostly due to starvation. An updated estimate the following month put the number of deaths for the six-month period from March to October 2004 due to starvation and disease at 70,000. These figures were criticized, because they only considered short periods and did not include deaths from violence. A more recent British parliamentary report has estimated that over 300,000 people have died, and others have estimated even more. Topic: 2008–2009 Gaza War. There were allegations of war crimes by both the Israeli military and Hamas. Criticism of Israel's conduct focused on the proportionality of its measures against Hamas and on its alleged use of weaponized white phosphorus. Numerous reports from human rights groups during the war claimed that white phosphorus shells were being used by Israel, often in or near populated areas. In its early statements the Israeli military denied using any form of white phosphorus, saying, We categorically deny the use of white phosphorus. It eventually admitted to its limited use and stopped using the shells, including as a smoke screen. The Goldstone Report investigating possible war crimes in the 2009 war accepted that white phosphorus is not illegal under international law but did find that the Israelis were systematically reckless in determining its use in build-up areas. It also called for serious consideration to be given to the banning of its use as an obscurant. Topic. 2009 Sri Lankan Civil War There are allegations that war crimes were committed by the Sri Lankan military and the rebel liberation tigers of Tamililam during the Sri Lankan Civil War, particularly during the final months of the conflict in 2009. The alleged war crimes include attacks on civilians and civilian buildings by both sides, executions of combatants and prisoners by the government of Sri Lanka, enforced disappearances by the Sri Lankan military and paramilitary groups backed by them, acute shortages of food, medicine, and clean water for civilians trapped in the war zone, and child recruitment by the Tamil Tigers. It is widely accused that the Secretary of Defense Gotabaya Rajapaksi, brother of President Mahinda Rajapaksa, ordered troops under his command to kill them all when the troops on the grounds asked him for direction for handling the surrendering Tamil combatants. A panel of experts appointed by UN Secretary General UNSG Ban Ki moon to advise him on the issue of accountability with regard to any alleged violations of international human rights and humanitarian law during the final stages of the civil war found credible allegations which if proven indicated that war crimes and crimes against humanity were committed by the Sri Lankan military and the Tamil Tigers. The panel has called on the UNSG to conduct an independent international inquiry into the alleged violations of international law. The Sri Lankan government has denied that its forces committed any war crimes and has strongly opposed any international investigation. It has condemned the UN report as fundamentally flawed in many respects and based on patently biased material which is presented without any verification. Topic: 2011 present Syrian civil war. International organizations have accused the Syrian government, ISIL and other opposition forces of severe human rights violations with many massacres occurring. 
Chemical weapons have been used many times during the conflict as well. The Syrian government is reportedly responsible for the majority of civilian casualties and war crimes, often through bombings. In addition, tens of thousands of protesters and activists have been imprisoned and there are reports of torture in state prisons. Over 470,000 people were killed in the war by 2017. Topic. See also Democide Genocide Genocides in history Laws of war List of massacres List of most wanted Nazi war criminals according to the Simon Wiesenthal Center List of war criminals Mass murder Torture War crimes equals equals notes <laughs>